certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Well, we made it into the lower 70s and upper 60s across mid-Michigan this afternoon, so making it made it a little bit more summer-like compared to the past several days where it's been a little bit on the cooler side for us, especially to start our mornings. But as we transition into the evening, we're going to watch those temperatures cool down only by a degree or two an hour, so it's a very slow cool down for us tonight. We should find our way down into the lower 50s and upper 40s, so a little bit of a warmer night there than what we've seen recently. Sky Tracker continues to show very quiet conditions out there for us, but we are keeping an eye on some of the clouds that we have there off to our north and west. Those are slowly going to be making it into mid-Michigan through the overnight hours, but especially as we go into Saturday. Light cloud cover moving in overnight for us, but the heavier clouds making their way to the south and east as we go into your Saturday morning and into your Saturday afternoon. So the deal here is I think most of mid-Michigan from the thumb towards Saginaw could start with partly cloudy skies or even sunny skies as we start the day, but as we go into the rest of the morning and afternoon, those clouds moving back in, but dry conditions there for us, even though those clouds are moving in. The rain Rain chances don't arrive until we go into the evening hours. This is midnight here. Better chances for rain will arrive at that time. And then as we transition into the you know, early morning hours of Sunday, that'll be the best time for those rain chances to move through. Potentially heavy at times, maybe a stroke of lightning or two. But after that, we start to see those rain shower chances move out of the area. By the afternoon, uh, our northern areas, western areas could be dry, but a few isolated showers could still remain for parts of the thumb, maybe even up towards the Tri-Cities and over towards Flint. Other than that, though, we're looking at the drying conditions. We do still have a chance for an isolated shower that could linger into Monday, but overall a mostly drier day by the time we go into Monday and then especially for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, warming those temperatures up as we go towards Thursday. Stay with WNEM TV 5 on air, on the go and online for more news and weather updates.